let's see how this Celtic knot pattern goes. And if we want to, we can even put a Celtic knot, an actual Celtic knot pattern on, uh, on top of the background pattern, which was generated in mid journey. Looking at these uh, pattern stencils, I can read the numbers one, two. So I know that this is the light layer and this is the dark layer. But uh, if I look at it really carefully, um, notice that there's a lot of bridges in this dark layer. So I might want to reverse this. I might just want to do this as the light and put it down and see what uh, see what happens on top of this layer, or I might make this layer darker. I think I'm going to make this layer darker. I think I'm going to paint a dark green here, and I'm going to put a, a light green or a, or a white or a light gray on the top with this this pattern. I don't want to use this one because there's so many bridges in it that it's going to look janky if I put it up. So I want to use the one with fewer noticeable bridges. So I'm going to use the light layer. I'm going to paint the surface dark and use this light layer, uh, light layer to paint whiter, lighter on top of it. You know, I really don't mind that in spite of the fact that I kind of got the seams a little bit messed up, but then in real space, um, seaming these up is much easier than it is here and with a VR headset. But um, but, I, but I think I like this and I'm gonna screw it up by putting the, the knot on top of it. So maybe I'll just leave it off. Maybe I'll just paint the knot over here. Um, but I like this pretty well. I like the way it repeats. I liked it. You know, Mid Journey did a good job of, of making it have some repeating elements within the, the pattern itself, but not to repeat exactly left to right. So you see that these details are similar, almost mirror image of each other, but the details above them are not. They're not symmetrical that way. So um, I, think, I, th I think I like this pattern and I think I like it in dark with the dark green, uh, the, any dark color painted on the wall <laughs> and then a light, lighter color on top of it with the stencil number one. All right, let's paint that, um, let's paint that uh, thing. Let's paint that Celtic knot and just see what it looks like before we screw this one up with it. Because the size of this pattern and the size of this pattern are super similar, I would never put this one on top of this one. But I think in the same room, this could work well. This is kind of a, a mid-journey background based on the idea of a Celtic knot. And this is an actual Celtic knot. Let's, uh, let's peel it off and see what it looks like. Okay, so you got the dark with the light colored repeating background. Uh, coming over here to the dark, keeping the dark background, going to fading to a light background, and then you've got your knot here that has a light going to dark. I would just fix one thing here, and that is that this stays, uh, this is a little too indistinct, and I would like to make this, bring this out a little bit more. I'm not sure what can be done about it. Maybe I can just make it darker a little bit further over and see that the center of the pattern is a little more readable. Um, but all in all, I like it. I'll fix that one thing, and I think that'll be it. This is Dave signing off from Bay Stencil. Come to think of it, I would do one other thing, and that is I would just use the light green for this instead of the light gray. Um, dark, dark green and light gray, I think can be nice, but the dark green and light green together would be nicer, especially if these two things are going to be in the same, in the same room. Okay, that's it.